Dhumuni haswa la sakramenti ya uponyaji ni kuzirejeshea uhai roho zetu pale zinapougua kwa kutenda dhambi. Yesu ndiye tabibu mkuu wa roho zetu naye yu tayari kututibu kila tunapougua. Kupata kitubio kama sikiza tuni yako tuma neno sikiza likifuata na nambari 738 Mbili saba tatu kwa nane moja moja. St. Mary's Girls School Runda is a center of academic excellence where future women leaders are formed. That is becoming an engineer in the country. I experienced a lot in this school since the time I came. We are located along Kiambu Road next to the Northern Bypass. Kwa jina naitwa Elena Filipo. Nimetoka Tanzania. Nimeweza kuja katika shule ya Takatifu Maria ambayo iko Runda. This school was started by the Assumption Sisters of Nairobi. Back in the year 2010, we are endowed with quality learning and boarding facilities, which make our students excel. We've ensured that our institution has quality facilities, a good library, well-equipped laboratories, computer laboratory. Our classes are well furnished. In accordance with our motto, our school motto is "Do whatever Jesus tells you." derived from the gospel passage of John chapter 2 verse 5 we teach our students how to learn obey and be responsible in our school we train our students to do the right thing with minimal supervision pia katika dini masista wameweza kutuekea muda wa misa kila jioni ya jumanne na kila asubuhi ya jumapili inaweza kutukuza kiroho na kujua kwamba tunahitaji Mungu katika maisha yetu na katika masomo yetu The health of our students is of paramount concern at all times In addition we encourage our girls to discover and build up their talents Our school fees are competitively affordable I'm Rosalind Subas Computer Studies teacher in St Mary's Girls Runda St Mary's has been uh, not only my place of work but it is a home away from home This is a place where the girls not only do we get them academically but also spiritually, morally and mentally. For ideal and holistic formation of your daughter, choose St. Mary School Runda, a center of academic excellence where responsible future leaders are nurtured. And we achieve this through uh, our mission which is teaming up with Christ in holistic formation of the girl child. For her empowerment. For more information, contact us on 0721-201-420 or 0104-201-420. Email us on St Mary's Girls Runda at gmail dot com. Visit our website www dot St Mary's Girls Runda dot sc dot ke. Kitubio au upatanisho 
Sakramenti ya kitubeo ndiyo sakramenti ya kuondolea o watu thambi walizotenda baada ya ubatizo. Sakramenti ya kitubeo pia huitwa sakramenti ya upatanisho ipo katika fungu la sakramenti za uponyaji. Kuna sakramenti mbili za uponyaji, kitubio na mpako mtakatifu wa wagonjwa. Dhumuni haswa la sakramenti ya uponyaji ni kuzirejeshea uhai roho zetu pale zinapougua kwa kutenda dhambi. Yesu ndiye tabibu mkuu wa roho zetu naye yu tayari kututibu kila tunapougua. Kupata kitubio kama sikiza tuni yako Tuma neno sikiza likifuata na nambari 738102073 kwa nane moja moja. The Sisters of St. Joseph of Tabs in Nyeri invite you to a fundraising in order to help them renovate their formation house. The event will take place at their formation house in Nyeri on Saturday, 5th June 2021, beginning 11 a.m. The guest of honor will be the Bishop of the Archdiocese of Nyeri, Most Reverend Anthony Moheria. You can send your contribution through pay bill number 763766, account number 0766303500. For more information, contact us on 0729-266-8798. Or email us on sjtabensby at yahoo.com or sjtabensby at gmail.com. All are welcome. <laughs> Tihani waki Pia kiyomba kwa ajili ya bwana yake ni klas na watoto Victor na Zakari Mwenyezi mungu wazidi kwa bariki na kwa linda Tunaomba kwa ajili ya ufatao kwa nia zao za kibinafsi Kwenye misa hii Stephen Bugwa, Lawrence Gidaiga, Salome Wainaina, Joseph Kariuki, Davin 
nanchoka kutoka kisi pita viga pita nzobeli kutoka Holy Cross Kakamega Lea Duta Bogwa Francisca Najala Waswa na pita Mukoma Rosalina Lia kana mtoto wake Sevia Liz na Karok toka uh, Rironi na vile vile uh, dada yangu Florence na vile vile kazi yangu Penina wanapoomba wanaposherekea siku zao za kuzaliwa na vile vile watu wengi sana ambao wametuuliza sala zao kwa mtadao tuweze kuombea katika misa hii tunaomba kwa ajili ya wagonjwa wafuatao kwenye misa hii Jason Gacheche na Lucy Ndo Mwenyezi Mungu awajalie uponyaji na afya njema tunaomba kwa ajili ya marehemu wafuatao kwenye misa hii John Gurejiro Paul Kinothia Maria Wajiko Pius Peter Kamau Elizabeth Tsuma Shikule Frank Adai Litunya Peter Mwangi Moriuki Father Yutikus Muragiri na Florence Modoni Nyabura wapumzike kwa amani wanapoendelea kulinda uh, na Mungu azidi uh, kulinda familia zao kwa nia hizi na zingine basi tuweze kujiweka mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu ili aweze kutukrimia yote ambayo tunaomba katika misa hii kama nilivyosema tukiwasherekea hawa uh, mashahidi wa Uganda waliouawa kwa ajili ya Yesu Kristo kwa jina la baba na la mwana na roho mtakatifu neema ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo na upendo wa Mungu baba na ushirika wa roho mtakatifu viwe nanyi nyote viwe nanyi ndugu zangu tujute dhambi zetu tupate kujiweka tayari kutoa sadaka takatifu Na kugamia Mungu Mwenyezi nanyi ndugu zangu kwani nimekosa mno kwa mawazo kwa maneno kwa vitendo na kwa kutotimiza wajibu nimekosa mimi nimekosa mimi nimekosa sana ndio maana na kuomba Maria mwenye heri bikra daima malaika na watakatifu wote nanyi ndugu zangu niombeeni kwa Bwana Mungu wetu Mungu Mwenyezi atulumia tusamee dhambi zetu kishe kwenye uzima wa milele Bwana utuhurumie Bwana utuhurumie Kristo utuhurumie Bwana utuhurumie Bwana utuhurumie Tuombe E Mungu umeifanya damu ya mashahidi wako kuwa begu ya Wakristo Ulijalie shaba la kanisa lako Lilo mwagiliwa damu ya mtakatifu Kaloli Rwanga na wenzake lilete daima mavuno mengi tunaomba hayo kwa jina bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa roho mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Amina <coughs> Somo katika kitabu cha Tobiti to Rafaeli alimwambia Tobiti Ndugu yangu leo tutatatua kwa Ragweli aliye jamaa yako naye ana binti yake pekee jina lake Sara Wakafika eka, ekban, ekibatana wakawazili kwenye nyumba yake Ragweli naye akaja kuwakuta akawasalimu nao wakamsalimu kisha akawapeleka ndani ya nyumba wakawakaribisha kwa ukunjufu wakachinja kondoo dume katika kundi wakawaandalia wingi wa nyama kisha topia akamwambia ra, ra, Rafaeli Ndugu yangu asaria usiseme zile habari tulizo siongea njiani ili shauri liishe akampasha ra kweli habari ra kweli akamwambia topia ule unywe na kuchangamka maana ni wajibu wako umwawe mtoto wangu walakini nitakuambia kweli 
Nimemuoza mtoto wangu kwa wanaume saba na kila walipo mkaribia wakafa usiku ule ule lakini wewe kwa sasa ujifurahishe Topia akamwambia mimi sionji kitu hapa hata mtakapofanya agano na kuagana nami Ragoli akamjibu vema wewe umtwaae tangu sasa kama ilivyo desturi maana wewe huu ndugu yake naye yu wako naye Mungu mwenye rehema awafanikisheni katika mambo yote akamwita bindi yake Sara akamshika mkono akampa topia ili awe mke wake akasema tasama umtwae kama iamuru iamuru vyo torati ya msa ukampeleke kwa baba yako ukawabariki akamwita mkewe edina akatoa kitabu akaandika hati akaitia muhuri wakaanza kula na wakiisha kuamo chumbani wote wawili topia akaondoka kitandani akasema ndugu yangu ondoka ili pamoja tumuombe Mungu atuhurumie ndipo topia alipoanza kusema e Mungu wa baba zetu um Himidiwa na jina lako takatifu tukufu limehimidiwa milele bingu naso sikuhimidi pamoja na viumbe vyako vyote ndiwe ulie muumba adamu ukampa mkewe hawa ili awe msaidizi na tegemeo na kwao umetoka uzao wote wa wanadamu nawe ukasema si vema mwanamme akae peke yake na tumfanyizie msaidizi wa kufanana naye na sasa e bwana kat... simtwai huyu ndugu yangu kwa ajili ya tamaa bali katika kweli uamuru nirehemiwe hata niwahi kuona uzee pamoja naye Sara akasema pamoja naye Amina Neno la Mungu Heri kila mtu amjae Bwana Heri kila mtu amjae Bwana Heri kila mtu amjae Bwana aendaye katika njia yake Taabu ya mikono yako hakika utaila utakuwa heri na kwako kwema mkeo atakuwa kama msabibu uzao nyumbani mwa nyumba yako wanao kama miche ya miseituni wakiisunguka meza yako heri kila mtu amjae bwana tazama atabarikiwa hivyo yule amjae bwana bwana aku, akubariki toka sayuni uone uheri wa Yerusalemu siku zote za maisha yako Barikiwa wale ambao kwa unyovu na wema wa mioyo yao hulisikia neno la Mungu na kulishika
Bwana awe nanyi. Somo katika injili ilivyoandikwa na Marko. Utukufu kwako e Moja wa wadishi alifika kwa Yesu akamuuliza, "Katika amri zote ni ipi iliyo ya kwanza?" Yesu akamjibu, "Ya kwanza ndio hii. Sikia Israeli, Bwana Mungu wetu ni Bwana mmoja. Nawe mpende Bwana Mungu wako kwa moyo wako wote na kwa roho yako yote na kwa akili zako zote na kwa nguvu zako zote. Na ya pili ndio hii. Mpende jirani yako kama nafsi yako. Hakuna amri nyingine iliyo kuu kuliko hizi. Yule mwandishi akamwambia, "Hakika mwalimu, umesema vema ya kwamba Mungu ni mmoja, wala hakuna mwingine ila yeye." na kumpenda yeye kwa moyo wote na kwa ufahamu wote na kwa nguvu zote na kumpenda jirani kama nafsi yako kwa faa kuliko sadaka nzima ya kuteketezwa na dhabihu zote pia naye Yesu alipoona kwamba amejibu kwa busara alimwambia wewe humba ali na ufalme wa Mungu wala hakudhubutu mtu kumsaili neno tena tokea hapo ijili takatifu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo sifa kwa e Kristo ndugu zangu katika Kristo karibuni kwa tafakari ya leo ikiwa leo tunasherekea mashahidi wa Uganda tukianzia na Kaloli Rwanga ambaye alikuwa kijana tu katika masomo yetu leo Inanifanya nikumbuke nyimbo tulizozipenda sana tukiwa seminari. Wimbo kama Mungu ni pendo apenda watu Mungu ni pendo anipenda na vile vile na wapa amri amri peda neni na vile vile tulikuwa tunaimba na tuna, tunajua huo wimbo Nijapo sema kwa lugha kushida malaika jamani kama mi misi na upendo mimi ni kitu bure Katika somo letu la kwanza tunaona vile Mungu anavyojali watu wake Hapa kuna tobiti abai sikumfahamu tu Mungu lakini anajua upendo wake Imefika wakati wa Mungu kumbariki hata baada ya kupitia mengi sana katika maisha yake. Lakini yeye alisimama stadi na Mungu wake na kumpenda. Na alipo tebea na huyu malaika mkuu Rafaeli na kusikiliza maneno yake, mashauri yake Mwenyezi Mungu kupitia malaika huu mkuu basi tunamuona Tobiti akimoa Sara hmm. binti la Gweli na anasema sitamtoa kwa ajili ya tamaa ni kwa sababu ya upendo na hapo sasa ndipo tunastahili kujiuliza swali je unapojitoa kwa mwenzako tuseme wewe ni kidosho binti hmm. unataka kuoleka unaenda kwa tamaa kwa mali ama kwa sababu ya upendo. Kwa sababu kuna watu wengi sana wana fake upendo sana. Eh, watu hata wanaweza uh, mtu anaweza eda akodi, hmm? achukue suti ya mtu wakati anatafuta mwenzake. Eh? Lakini akirudisha suti atarudi katika hali yake ya kawaida. Upendo hamna. Wengine ana, hata wanatafuta wallet iliyojaa pesa na si zake. Aende tu amuoneshe mwenzake ili akiingia tu box hivyo mambo kwisha. Na ndio maana hutakosa kuona familia zinazotalikiana. Migogoro na vita katika nyumba zetu. Na ndio maana Yesu Kristu katika injili yetu leo ametukumbusha kuhusu yani kwa zote amri zake Mwenyezi Mungu kwa mtaasari ni upendo tu. Tunaweza sema tusiue, tusiimbe, hmm? 
tusitamani lakini bila upendo kwa chochote ambacho tunakifanya katika maisha yetu basi e, upendo mm. kwa sababu tujue ni mwandishi amemuuliza swali je e, ni amri ipi kubwa Yesu Kristu lugha yake ni upendo maneno yake ni upendo Jia yake ni upendo kwa sababu tunapo muenze Mwenyezi Mungu na kumpenda vilivyo eh basi hata wenzetu tutawapenda eh lakini huwezi penda ha? Mungu ambaye hujawahi muona eh kama hupendi mwenzako ukimchukia mwenzako basi hata ukishida hapo ukisema bwana asifiwe Mungu ni mwema eh sijui asifiwe kila wakati eh tumsifu Yesu Kristu sawa lakini upendo halisi ni kwa zetu ambao wameumbwa katika na ndio maana unaona Yesu Kristu ya anaulizwa katika kitabu kipya lakini anarudi katika kitabu cha kubukubu ya Torati na anawaambia iliandikwa si wakati huu wakati wa msa ni mara gapi kati ya bibi na bwana hamna upendo kama tulivyosikia kutoka kwa tobiti walisali pamoja na Sara na kuamua maamuzi yao ya upendo kutoka kwake Mwenyezi Mungu. E, ni mara ngapi tume tu, tumeshuhudia na kuona watu wanapigana tu ovyo ovyo kama ule mzee alitoka haraka kwa kanisa akaenda nyumbani akamchukua bibi yake juu haraka sana. Naye bibi akafurahi sana akamuuliza umekunywa nini kwa sababu kawaida siku hizi hata wewe ukiuniliwa siku hizi na mtu utamuuliza ni nini kibaya siku hizi mambo hayako hivyo kamwambia mwenye alikuwa na hubiri alisema nikifika kwangu tu niinue shida yangu juu kumbe ule bwana hako anainua bibi yake kwa sababu anaona akiwa shida hamna upendo ndani yao hawakai pamoja na kuongea kitu kimoja na leo hii nataka kuambia kitu kimoja siku moja alikuwa na binti kidosho sana msichana mrembo sana na wakati wake wa kuoleka ulipofika babake akamwambia nitakuletea vijana kadha wa kadha ili uweze kuchagua ule kijana bae ana unampenda zaidi basi kwa sababu ule alikuwa mfalme akatangaza binti yangu eh, angetaka kuoleka sasa wakaeda wengine hata walieda hata kwa kinyozi kutengenezwa eh, wengine hata wakaja na suti viatu vipya eh, tai eh, wengine hata wakaeda hata kuchorwa wakaja lakini ule binti alikuwa na paka paka ambaye rafiki yake walikana walikuwa wamekaa naye miaka kama tatu wakiwa marafiki sana na sasa ikafika wakati vijana wakaanza eh huyu binti hakupendezwa hata mmoja na wakati paka alipokuwa anaangalia vijana wakipita na binti hapendezwi ha, ha, na mmoja akasema si Mungu unifanye tu kijana muhadsam hmm. na unipe huyu msichana eh. kwa sababu sasa ame, amekataa wote na mimi tumekuwa marafiki si unifanye tu kijana hadsam ili mimi niweze kumnyakua basi Mungu akamwambia wewe paka nitakufanya kijana handsome kwa masharti kwanza kabisa baada ya wewe kukufanya mwanadamu handsome usiwahi baada ya kumuoa ule binti kutamani panya katika maisha yako akamwambia hiyo tu ah sawa Kamwambia nimesikia masharti yako Mungu. Basi akamtimizia. Na ghafra akawa tu mwanadamu, kijana. Eh, hey, wale wanaambiwa wako na six pack. Eh. Hadsam. Na kamnyakua. Sasa ikafika sasa ni wakati wa harusi. Kwa kawaida harusi huwa inashikanishwa baada ya mahubiri. Kwa hivyo sasa walikuwa meketi, kijana sasa ule amegeuka sasa ni mtu E, lakini ndani tu ni paka tu na kule e, pale kuna kidosho ameketi pale e, sasa uh, pasta alikuwa tu nahubiri hmm? na akaona kapanya kadogo kamepita basi akaanza kuhagaika akabona msimamizi wake wewe ni nini akasema hapana ninafanya tu mazoezi venye nitamnyakua ule bini.
Tiosho. Baada ya muda mchache tena kapanya kingine kakubwa kakatokelezea. Kijana kaenda kuruka kabiwa pana ni nini wachana mazoezi. Basi mara ya tatu kutokezea kipanya kikubwa sasa. Hmm, kilicho kuwa kinaonekana kinangaji wa mafuta. Akasahau kabisa na akanyakuwa ile panya na immediately akageuka kuwa paka. Na kuulizaji Mkristo mwenzangu ni panya ipi hiyo inakufanya usiwe na upedo dhabiti. Ni husuda. Ni ufisadi. Ni kijicho. Ni umbea. Ni nini hiyo inakufanya usiwe na upendo dhabiti kwako? Kwa bwanako, kwa bibi yako, kwa watoto wako, kwa majirani na watu wa mataifa. Yesu Kristo ametuambia hakuna nyingine ni upendo tu kumpenda Mungu wetu na kumpenda jirani kama ninavyojipenda mimi mwenyewe. Ni mara ngapi sisi katika maisha yetu tunajua vizuri sana ya kuwa tunastahili kwa kitu kimoja kama vile Tobiti alifanya na Sara na hata wakati wote ndio maana nikifika kwenu saigine nikitembea kwenu napata miandika a family that prays together stays together lakini mara ngapi mnaketi pamoja na kula na kusali pamoja eh? ama mmoja atakula saa moja wengine hata watakula baada ya kafiu kwa sababu watakuja baadaye mm. lakini mara ngapi hata tunaketi pamoja tunaongea pamoja mashahidi hawa tunaosherekea leo wa Uganda tukianza na Karoli Rwanga wote walikuwa vijana na kama Karoli Rwanga alizaliwa mwaka wa 1800 na 60 1860 pale Uganda na wamishionari tuwashukuruni sana walipokuja wakashika sana Ukristu kwa udani sana na wakati ule mfalme alikuwa akitawala huko Uganda wakati huo mwanga alipoanza kuambia wakataane na wakatae kabisa e, mambo ya Ukristu na washike tamaa za dunia wakakataa homosexuality wakakataa na ndio maana akachomwa Karoli Rwanga baada hata ya kubatizwa na kusema afadhali nife mie lakini na kufa kama mfiadini na ndio maana kwa Kilatini kwa e, kanisa yetu tunasema sanguis materum semen christianorum est yani damu ya hawa wa fiadini ndiyo mbegu ya Ukristo katika maisha yetu kwa sababu sahii Uganda ni wengi sana walijitolea baadaye na si wakatoliki tu mpaka wa Anglikana Tunakumbuka si Karoli Rwanga tu mdogo wao kabisa alikuwa anaitwa Kizito ambaye alibatizwa na ah, mtakatifu Karoli Rwanga wengine ni akina mtakatifu Matia Mlumba Kalemba na wenzake lakini hawakuogopa vijana na wakati baba Paulo wa sita alipoenda Uganda kuwafanya watakatifu alifanya Karoli Rwanga kuwa msimamizi wa wanarika ama wa vijana ni vizuri tusimame kidet katika maisha yetu. Tupende Mungu wetu bila masharti. Tutafute ule panya, ule panya anayetufanya tugeuke tena kuwa paka na kusahau upendo halisi wake Mwenyezi Mungu. Na ndio maana leo wimbo wetu wa katikati ama zaburi yetu ya kuitikizana ni zaburi ambayo tunaitumia kila wakati wakati wa harusi. Hey, heri kila mtu amchae Bwana. Hey, Tabu ya mikono yako hakika utaila. Eh, mkeo atakuwa kama mzabibu wakatunganisha harusi wanaona wakitabasamu wakiimbiwa hapo mkeo mm, atakuwa lakini mara gapi hata wakati tu hata wakati wa harusi eh, zile ahadi tunasema hapa mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu tunazishika kwa upendo tuwe watu wa sala tusimame study na sasa tuombe msaada wa hawa mashahidi E, mashujaa wa Uganda na tunapozidi kuendelea kuombea nchi hiyo vile vile hata sisi tujiombe tusiubishwe na kitu chochote katika maisha yetu hata kama ni wanasiasa hata kama ni nini hata kama ni wafalme tusimame kidete ujue wewe upendo wako ni upendo kamili na ndivyo mimi huwa nasema ukitaka kuheshimiwa jiheshimu na uheshimu wenzako Ukitaka kupendwa jipende upende Mungu na upende 
wenzako vilivyo na vile vile ukitaka kukaa vizuri kaa vizuri kwanza na ukae vizuri na wenzako na ili muendelee kwa hivyo maisha haya ni upendo tu yanazunguka katika upendo tuwe katika misa hii tuweze kuwa wajasiri kama mashahidi hawa tunapowasherekea na vile vile tuombe msaada wao na sala zao ili hata sisi siku moja tuweze kuwa mashahidi wake Kristo tomsifu Yesu Kristo Kubaliwe na Mungu Baba Mwenyezi. Bwana pokea sadaka mikononi mwako kwa sifa na utukufu wa jina lake. Na pia kwa faa yetu sisi na mafaya ya kanisa lako leo utakatifu. Amina. E Bwana, tunakutolea dhabihu na kukuomba kwa unyenyekevu kama vile ulivyowawezesha mashahidi watakatifu wa Uganda kuchagua kufa kuliko kutenda dhambi. Hivyo pia utuwezeshe nasi tuliojitoa kwako tuhudumi altari yako kila wakati hayo kwa jina ya Kristo bwana wetu amina bwana awe nanyi awe pia nami inueni mioyo tumeinua kwa bwana tumshukuru bwana Mungu wetu kweli ni bema na haki tukushukuru daima na popote bwana baba mwema Mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa maana mtakatifu kalori lwanga shahidi na wenzake Waliugama jina lako na kumfuasa Kristo. Kaonyesha maajabu yako kwa kumwaga damu yake. Yao hivyo unaonyesha uwezo wako katika unyonge wetu na kutuimarisha tupate kukuungama kwa jina Kristo Bwana wetu. Kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na malaika wa mbinguni tunakutukuza hapa duniani na kusifu utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho.
E bwana kubili mtakatifu na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote tunakusihi uzitakaze kwa nguvu ya roho yako dhabihu hizi ili ziwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristu yeye alipojitoa kwa hiari yake ya tiswi alitoa mkati akakushukuru akaumega kawapa ufasi wake akisema twaini mle wote huu ndio mwili wangu takaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akashukuru tena akawapa wafuasi wake akisema Twaini mnye wote hiki ni kikombe cha damu yangu damu yangu jipya la milele takayomwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maondoleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa kunikumbuka mimi Hili ni fumbo la imani Kristo alikufa Kristo alivuvuka Kristo atakuja Kwa hiyo e bwana tunapokumbuka kufa na kufika kwake mwanao tunakutolea mkaja uzima na kikombe cha ukovu tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umetujalia tunaye mbele yako na kutumikia Naomba kwa nyenye kevu roho mtakatifu tufanye tuwe jamaa moja sisi tunaoshiriki mwili na damu ya Kristu. E bwana, ulikumbuke kanisa lako popote duniani, tukamilishe katika upendo sisi pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francisco na askofu wetu Muhasham Daud kama unganga na watumishi wako wote. Wakumbuke watumishi wako hasa na wakumbuke katika misa hii uliyowaita kwako kutoka dunia hii kwa kuwa walishiriki kifo cha Kristo kwa ubatizo wajali washiriki pia ufufuko wake wakumbuke pia dogo zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufufuko wakumbuke na marehemu wote wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako tunakuomba uturumie sisi sote ili tustahili kushiriki uzima wa milele na kusaidi na kutukuza pamoja na Maria Bikra mwenye heri mama wa Mungu takatifu Yosefu mchumba wake takatifu Francisco wa Asisi takatifu Andrea watakatifu mashahidi wa Uganda na mitume wenye heri na watakatifu wote waliopendeza tangu kale tunaomba hayo kwa jia mwanao Yesu Kristo kwa jia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake we Mungu baba mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho mtakatifu napata heshima na utukufu wote daima na milele na sasa tusali kwa imani ile sala aliyo Tufundisha bwana wetu baba yetu uliye biguni jina lako tukarume katika maovu yote utujalie kwa hema amani maishani mwetu Tupushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako. Tusifadhaishwe na ajabu la lolote. Tugoje kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo. Wakoa kwa nini wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele. E bwana Yesu Kristo liwaambia mitume wako na wachini amani na wapeni amani yangu. Usistazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako. Ulijalia amani na umoja kama alivyo mapenzi yako. Unaeshi na kutawala daima na milele. Amina. Amani ya Bwana iwe daima nanyi. Iwe pia nanyi. Mwana kudoa Mungu. Uondoe dhambi za dunia, utulumie. Mwana kudoa Mungu. Uondoe dhambi za dunia, utulumie. Mwana kudoa Mungu. Uondoe dhambi za dunia, utujalie amani. Tazameni mwana kodo wa Mungu, tazameni Yesu Kristo anayeodoa dhambi za dunia. Heri yetu sisi tuliwalikwa kwenye karami ya Bwana. E Bwana sitaingia kwangu, lakini sema maneno tu na roho yangu itakona.
anasema hakuna aliye na upendo mwingi kuliko huu wa mtu kutoa uhai wake kwa adli ya rafiki zake tuombe e bwana tumepokea sakramenti takatifu tunapokumbuka leo ushidi wa takatifu wako mashahidi wa Uganda tunaomba sakramenti hii iliyowapa wao nguvu ya kuvumilia mateso Ituletee pia sisi udhabiti wa imani na mapendo katika shida zetu. Tunawaba hayo kwa ajili ya Kristo Bwana wetu. Amen. Basi tunapofikia tamati nataka tu kusema asante na tuzidi kujombea sisi wenyewe na vile vile kujua ya kuwa Yesu Kristo hakukaa msalabani kwa sababu ya kutudi kwa hapo na misumari. Amna, alikaa hapo kwa sababu ya mapendo. Hata wewe vumilia katika upendo uliohalisi ambao ndio msingi na thibitisho kwetu ya kuwa tunamtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu kwa hakika na vilivyo. Usichoke kupenda, penda bila kuchoka mpaka mwisho. Na jua vizuri sana Mungu wetu atazidi kutubariki na hasa wakati huu wa janga hili tusikate tamaa, tuzidi kufanya vyema katika maisha yetu na Mungu atatukirimia yote ambayo tunaomba katika maisha yetu. Ni mie wenu Padre Peter Ken Jonge nafanya kazi katika parokia mtakatifu Andrea Mtume pale Lironi dekania ya Limuru katika jibo letu kuu la Nairobi. Bwana awe nanyi. Awe pia Awabariki Mungu mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Ni na amani baada ya misa imekamilika. Tumshukuru Mungu uwe na jioni iliyo jafanaka na baraka
kipaimara ni sakramenti yenye kumpa Mkristo roho mtakatifu na ukamilifu wa mapaji yake saba kumfanya Mkristo mkamilifu na kumfanya shahidi hodari wa Yesu Kristo mpaka kufa kupata kipaimara kama sikiza tuni yako tuma neno sikiza likifuatwa na nambari 738102 Mbili, saba, mbili, kwa nane, moja, moja. The congregation of St. Joseph of Tabs has remained available to God's people since its inception. The sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes were founded in the year 1843 in France by six young girls who had a special experience of God to live a life of contemplation. From France, the congregation grew to other 14 countries and all the continents of the world, including Africa. The first sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes arrived in Kenya from India in 1982. Their unique charism has enabled them to grow in numbers and apostolates over the years. Our charism, which is communion, is lived in fraternal life in communities where we share it from different cultures and going out to share this same communion with our brothers and sisters near and far what about the formation the young girls go through theoretical reflective and practical lessons both formal and informal which cover part of their formation program sisters take part in various recreational activities like fashion show sports and such breaks peace building is also introduced to enrich our sisters to live our way of life the charism of building communion call to their formation they keenly observe a culture of prayers rooted and strong in their faith our prayer life is nourished by eucharistic celebration moments of silence personal encounter with christ during adoration as well as a strong devotion to our patron saint saint joseph for their sustainable growth and apostolate they actively engage in farming such as pig keeping poultry keeping dairy farming and crop production we also carry out domestic jobs such as cooking and cleaning we in a special way mark and celebrate the feast of saint joseph during this year by launching a project to renew and renovate our formation house in kenya This will enable them to continue in the formation and training of agents of evangelization to serve God's people. We the sisters of St. Joseph of Tarbes in Kenya are kindly appealing to all of you our well wishers, our friends and benefactors to support us to continue to build communion as we serve the Lord in our vocation and in all our ministries and we promise to pray for you and all your needs and cares you can send your contribution to equity bank account number 11701973406455 or pay bill number 763766 Account number 0766303500 For more information contact us on 0729266879 or email us on sjtabensby 
at yahoo.com or sjtabensby at gmail.com. May God bless you. For a peaceful learning environment coupled with sufficient learning facilities, choose St. Veronica Giuliani School located in Kivioko, Machakos County. It is a homely institution offering quality holistic elementary education to youngsters with special emphasis on academic performance and character formation. Vacancies are available from PP1 to Class 7, including boarding section which begins from Grade 3. For more information about our school and admission procedures, contact us on 07132716. Six seven zero Saint Veronica Giuliani Mixed Day and Boarding Primary School. We transform the society. Are you in need of a competitive, personal, business, or institutional insurance cover? Look no further. Purchase Insurance has got you covered for both individual and group contingencies. I am a happy client of Purchase Insurance Company for over a period of seven years. Purchase Insurance offered us a lasting solution to our medical issues and medical problems. With Purchase Insurance, you do not need to search elsewhere. We have competitively comprehensive insurance products that meet every personal, business and institutional needs. We have plans that address the corporate organizations and groups targeting the religious groups and other registered groups. We also have plans for the retail market which covers families or individuals. Uh, for general covers we have classified them into two different lines. We have the personal lines and the corporate lines. We are uh, uh, owned by the Catholic Church 100% and uh, this brings the uniqueness in us in that any profits, any proceedings we make through the operations we run as a company are plowed back to the church to help with the different projects the church has. I would recommend purchase to any other person who is looking for these services. We have uh, direct lines we call, people who are available for us 24-7. And so it doesn't matter the time, the day, the hour we are, we are met or rather our expectations are met. Visit our head office at Pachi Center located along Wayakiwe in Westlands for details about our products or contact us on 0730-677-000 or 0720-113-122. Send us an email on info at pachiskenya.com. Our health, our wealth and our reputation are protected and we have a lot of peace and comfort to know that we are covered wherever we are. Purchase is a Latin word that stands for peace. For comfort and peace in life. Choose Purchase Insurance Company. We protect your health, wealth and reputation for comfort and peace to society. Capuchin TV, your Catholic Broadcasting Ministry.